Miss Catellas. Hi, Miss Masita. I have been looking forward to this all week long. Me too. I love flowers. Oh, let me share my screen. Oh, we've got a hint. Where are we going this week? Woo! Here's your hint. Where are we going this week? We are okay. going to a flower garden field trip. Woo! Yay! Yay! And so today we're going to learn about a couple artists, um, Georgia O'Keeffe, Vincent Van Gogh, and then we are going to draw flowers inspired by our field trip and these artists. First, let's meet Georgia O'Keeffe. She is an American artist and she's known for painting gigantic flowers, as you see here. She was born in 1887 on a farm in Wisconsin. She also loved to paint seashells and animal bones. So why do her flowers appear so close? She did, um, she took small flowers and she painted them really big. Um, the petals are so big that sometimes they go off the edge of her painting. And another artist that painted flowers is Vincent Van Gogh and he lived in the Netherlands and hold on to that country uh, the Netherlands and he decided to paint full-time when he was 27 but you can see he was very much inspired by landscapes and um, beautiful flowers and remember what country we had to re we had to remember the Netherlands here is a map of where you can find the Netherlands, and that's where we're going today. There is a very special garden there that we are going to visit. Let's go. So this is one of the most famous flower gardens in the world. And let's check out and see all the colors and shapes. Woo! Do you know what those are? Tulips. I, I was going to guess that. Oh, very nice. Look at the giant sculpture. Look at all those different shapes you're seeing. Okay, I love how it's the tulip has this round shape when it's closed. They're so vibrant. Yes. Look at all those different shapes. It probably colors. smells really good, too. Very true. That's so a lot have, of tulips. It's that's probably a lot. in the thousands. Notice they also come in different colors. Well, I like the zigzag line of those flowers. This is my favorite kind of tulip that has a different color on the edge. Oh, those are hyacinths. Those are my favorite flowers. They smell delicious. This is such a beautiful place. I'm so glad we we're able to visit. Look at another sculpture. That's pretty. Wow. So those are also hyacinths, right, Miss? Hyacinths Patella? are coming different colors. Wow. That was so cool. Now, let's talk about what our favorite flowers are, guys. Great idea. And remember, a blossom means flower. My favorite flower is a rose. My grandmother had a beautiful rose garden, and the roses smelled so good. I loved smelling each one. They have a lot of different petals that go out from the, the center and... I like drawing roses too. They do smell good. One of my favorite flowers is the dandelion and they grow all over. You can go for a walk anywhere and run into a dandelion. My favorite flower is a tulip and you saw on our field trip, there were so many tulips and they come in so many different colors. 
again, another one of my favorite flowers is the daisies. I kind of like these flowers that you can run into wherever you are. You don't have to be in a special place. Ooh, black-eyed Susans. I see those all over the place too. I love their yellow brightness. They are very cool. And they grow, there's a whole bunch of them right there. Oh, and here is Miss Kutelis' favorite flower. We love the hyacinth. And it comes in so many different colors. And look at that. It has such a heavy amount of flowers at the very top. Bunches they're and all bunches. separate little flowers. And they're all oh, so cool. And right now in the D.C., Virginia, Northern Virginia area, there are cherry blossoms. And remember the word blossoms? Blossoms means flowers. So these are cherry blossoms and they are growing on all over different trees. And they come, I think, in pink and white and almost reddish in the center. Fines. So we're going to read lines. We know lines. lots of different kinds of lines. We know straight lines. We know wavy lines. We know thick lines. We know loopy lines. We know dotted lines and dash lines. We know messy lines. We know bumpy lines. We know zigzag lines. And we also know castle lines. So guys, I I'm kind of excited to see how we use these lines to make flowers. Exactly. I'm so glad we're reviewing this because there are so many options for us right now. And, and apparently we can also use shapes to make flowers. But what is the difference between a line and a shape? Let's find it, out. Let's find out. Now, what is the difference between a line and a shape? A shape has an inside and an outside. So essentially, a line is a line until it touches itself. Boop. Now it has an inside and an outside. That's my parrot, by the way. So here we have another line. And clap your hands. When it becomes a shape, it's a shape. We have an inside and an outside. So clap your hands. When you notice this line become a shape. Yay! Clap your hands. Awesome. So here's an inside and an outside. Let's review some of the shapes that we know of. Shapes. What are some shapes that you know? I know a square. A circle. A rectangle. A triangle. A trapezoid, a trapezoid, an oval, a pentagon, a piss. My circle, now we have all the shapes we need to make our flowers. I'm using a circle and straight lines to make my first flower. I use triangles to make the leaves. 
the next oh, one has a center now. with a oval. We're using shades. And some ovals for the petals. And, this and I like how I like how you're doing them different heights. So some are tall, yeah, some, some are like short. Different shapes and different kinds of lines to make a, all my flowers. I see zigzag. Next, I'm going to make a flower made out of just circles and semicircles. And this I like how you curve the stem too. Leaves. And some stems Next are thicker. It's made up of bumpy lines going in a circle and rectangle leaves. Notice how I'm using all kinds of shapes and lines to make a garden full of different types of flowers. Oops. Wow, I wonder what lines and shapes I want to use. Lines for an insect that's flying. And then we can color it. Oh, that's a great idea. We saw how colorful that flower garden was in the Netherlands. Some stars all around. A butterfly and a butterfly that went around in a loop de loop. Next, you color your garden. I don't want you to think you have to copy exactly what I just did. I gave you the idea, and now I want you to pick your own lines and oh, shapes, me. put them together, and make flowers for your own garden. <laughs> Oh, so fill in the background, right. too. I, and we're coloring the background. One thing I wanted to add was that I always tell the kids not to use uh, markers to you color their background, because otherwise that color marker will be gone at the end of that one coloring. So use crayons or oil pastels um, to color the background. So smart. Yeah. All right, so we're going to come out. So now is your opportunity to create your own flower garden. And we have some how-to sheets to help you. And you can um, look at the different ideas and then pause on something that you would like to draw. So let's look at them. Yes. So here are a couple different flowers and you can see that it starts as a circle. It has those small bumpy lines and then large curvy lines that meet together to make those petal shapes. I like how some of them are difficult and more difficult than others. You can sort of pick whichever you want. So here are three other flowers. If you know, look around and see which one feels comfortable for you. And I, interesting how this starts with an oval and then you have to kind of add other lines and make it more complicated. And the, I love drawing roses. As I already said, I love roses, but um, you can make a rose just by starting with a swirl and then you just add on little bits around it. I like that. It's yeah. interesting how it would start, you think it's really complicated, but it's actually super easy. And here um, you start with a tulip with a letter U and add some other uh, marks on it and add the stem and some leaves and color it. So that is your assignment. Yeah, so you are going to take these, your knowledge of lines and shapes and you're going to draw five or more different blossoms. Remember we learned blossoms equals flower and then make sure you color them. Um, think of all the different colors you can use and then color the background. Don't forget Miss Gutel's tip. Don't use a marker for your background. Um, use another coloring tool and then most importantly, share it on your Padlet so we can see and comment. So fun. So fun. I, I, I can't wait to get started. I, I'm going to go get my supplies right now. Yes. Great idea. All right. Good to see you, Miss Masita. Good to see you, Miss Catellis. Good to see you, Miss Masita. Good to see you, Miss Keo. I'll see you guys. Bye. See you soon.